By now, you probably know exactly what this is, the DJI Mavic Pro. The drone's been on the market for over a year, so there's a good chance that you've already seen video footage from it, and you may have watched a review or two as well. The question is, why haven't you bought one yet? I'm Nick Gray, the High Tech Traveler, and this is my review of the DJI Mavic Pro. A drone is nothing like a smartphone, so a typical spec rundown is completely pointless. But here's the important things that you need to know. The Mavic Pro can fly for 27 minutes on a single charge with a maximum speed of 40 miles an hour. It records super smooth 4K video thanks to its three axis gimbal and has a control range of over four miles. Oh, and did I mention the arms fold up so that you can easily throw the drone into your backpack and take it with you everywhere you go. Okay, maybe don't throw it since this thing is a little bit fragile. Add in an obstacle avoidance system, subject tracking, and a handful of other intelligent flight modes, and the Mavic can go head to head with drones which cost $500 to $1,000 more than its $999 asking price. The question is, is it really worth that cost? That answer, you're gonna have to come up with on your own. But here's a little bit of footage from the Mavic Pro that might help you make up your mind. As you can see, this device can capture some incredible footage, but using the Mavic Pro isn't all bunnies and sunshine. Actually, it's quite the opposite in fact. I've been a tech enthusiast all my life, and I can't even remember the last time that I used the instruction manual in order to use a new device. That is, until the Mavic Pro showed up at my doorstep. The setup process isn't really that intuitive, and the menu system in the app needs some serious work. Now, I know flying drones isn't for everyone, but if I think it's complicated, just imagine what your dad might think if he gets one for Christmas. I've also had issues with the DJI smartphone app crashing on my Android devices mid-flight. Now, as you might expect, I panicked thinking that the drone had gone down as well. Fortunately, it didn't. But this has happened two times, and in my opinion, that's two times too many. If you're planning on flying the drone in the US, it does need to be registered with the FAA, and there are a couple rules that need to be followed as well. You cannot fly over 400 feet in height. The drone must be within eyesight at all times, and you're not allowed to fly within a five mile radius of an airport without clearing your flight with the control tower first. To help with that last rule, I recommend downloading the AirMap app to your phone. It will show you where the closest airports are, their five mile radius, and a phone number for you to contact them. So is the DJI Mavic Pro really worth a thousand bucks? 
here's my recommendation. If you're just looking to have a little bit of fun with a flying toy that can record video, you should probably look at the DJI Spark or other cheaper alternatives. But if you're into photography or videography and want a competent drone that can capture incredible shots, the DJI Mavic Pro is the best drone that you can buy in the $1,000 range. If you want to see more Mavic Pro or other drone videos from me, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.